Yes. One thing with our little operation is you never know where we're gonna be from day to day sometimes. <laughs> so it come about four, I believe our final total was four and a half inches of rain. Y'all saw the rain, all that other mess. We did not work the next day. The, 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 what y'all are seeing now uh, is from Monday, we completely skipped Friday and uh yeah that was in saturday it rained basically most of the day friday and then again friday night and uh we come up with somewhere in the neighborhood of four and a half inches for the whole week of rain so we don't work most of our winter ground down there and uh one, it looks like it's gonna be one of those wet April. Sometimes you have a dry April, sometimes you have a wet April. So if you get a dry April, you know, things really can start clicking off good for you for a while. Oh, Mickey lost his, he threw his CB mic down. You don't like that one, sir? Smash it then. He said it don't work. Uh, but anyway, Usually you can get a good dry April sometimes and, and, and things kind of start picking up for you. Sometimes you don't get a good dry April and you got to start hopping around finding better ground. Uh, very fortunate that our company had this little gem hidden. Uh, it, you, you honestly, you would never guess that you have four inches of rain um, last week. And I, mean, where, where, I didn't get any video of anything this morning where we were at loading up, anything else. But I can promise y'all, it was solid water. I mean, just everything, solid water. All the creeks are out of the banks. Uh, the woods are just standing in solid water. Just pure craziness. And then this morning, it was cold again, like almost in the 30s for mid to end of April. It's just, it's just weird, it's crazy. And uh, so anyway, We picked up and moved, I think we moved 41 miles north. This is only the second or third time I've ever worked this area. Second for sure, possibly third time I've ever worked this area since we've been in business. Or since this job has been in existence, I guess you could say. And uh, it, very fortunate the timber company had this set aside for a rainy day and uh, other than the, the move and cost of moving today I think I mean I feel a lot better about this week last week was the worst week I've had working in three years on this job what he's doing oh he's trying to scoot himself around what he's trying to do Anyway, we ended up with 23 loads for the week last week. The worst I've ever had before was either 28 or 30. I can't remember. I'm going to say 30. But, uh, it said the worst week I've ever had working in this job in three years. Um, it'll get better. It always does. Uh, I'm just going to have to work a little longer, a little harder. Make up for what we lost last week. Uh, let me see, we got a good crew behind us, so that's gonna make a big, 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 big difference. Hey! hey. It ain't gonna work! No, it's, too it's too dry! Rack this stuff up! Let's go back to the mud hole! Might as well! Might as well! Dry ground don't feel like home! <laughs> no dry ground don't feel like home! <laughs> it's very odd for us to get really good ground like this. I mean, y'all see what we stay in all the time. Uh, with our track bunchers and everything like that but I mean, we we literally we have exhausted every avenue to 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 process wood in our area and it just it's just not coming to to fortition anymore so what we're doing is michael is setting up a pile for a box puppy is going after his double bunk trailer he just dropped low boy off We've got everything moved up here except the rubber tire and the rubber tire is going to the house. We have a pretty big project fixing to come up with it. Uh, kind of a revamp, there's, a, there's something tore up on it. Uh, I don't remember where what I've explained so far, but we'll save all that information for when we actually start working on the rubber tire. 
Um, but anyway, we're uh, sometimes I get so far in between videos, it's it's like I can't really remember what I have explained to y'all. You know. So anyway, this is a uh, first inning. It's 96 acres. It's uh, 14 years old. It's good. It's, it's a good standing age of timber. Um, there's going to be close to two weeks worth of work here. Week and a half for sure. This stuff here might cut a load and a half per acre. So if it does, then we'll be looking at a for sure two weeks. I'm hoping we can be knocking 50, 55 loads a week out of this. They are calling for rain at the end of this week. But other than not being able to truck on the parish road, I don't believe we're going to be affected here. If we do uh, have to shut trucking down, we'll be able to continue to work and, and pile uh, after the rain events where the trucks will have to wait 24 hours per parish ordinance for our, our roads. So hopefully they're not too strict on the 24 hour ordinance thing. Sometimes you'll get a parish councilman that's, that's uh, not so strict. Some of them are just real buttholes about it and I understand everybody's prerogative from it. But I mean, we're just trying, we're trying to make a living is all we're trying to do. So it, uh, but what Michael's doing is he's clearing out where the delimitator is going to go and he's, he's getting all that ready. And, uh, we're going to watch him stick the box in there. He's trying to get all the bushes and stuff, make sure there ain't no stumps right here. There's a stump right here, and there's a stump right here. Might need to be got. But we'll get the box out there and get her fired up, and we'll let y'all watch this steam them a little bit. But big difference from last week to this week. Completely different area. We're in hills. We're in first inning. Uh, been a busy, busy morning moving. On our move up here, we blowed out a tire on the, the old loader. I had to send it to the tire shop, get a tire put on it. So, look here, Mickey's gonna take some dirt and sprinkle over the top of them stumps to where it, we don't bend a wheel or anything. I'd really rather them be pulled up, but I think they're big enough that I don't think that loader will pull them up. typically don't just stand here and video just continuously like this. I used to. This is just one of those things here, you're just watching, watching the job work, listening to me talk, explain what we got going on. We're fixing to have to put a tire on the delimitator over here real soon. This tire keeps leaking down and we have to continually air it up. You see that big split on the sidewall of it? It's the tire come on. I mean, it's, they've been on it since we've had it. We still are really good on our chain. We're, we're nines and tens, mostly tens on the bottom drum. We're still at 13, so it's like it's got a brand new set of chains top and bottom. I can promise you by the time we get ton, done with this set here, or this, not this, this set, this track, we're going to be really in need of, or you're going to see a noticeable wear. be a little bit close to his pile. Yeah, he gonna pull up and restart. Y'all can see how close he was on his pile there. If he'd have tried to push that deliminator on over that, he would have just turned over with him. It's so nice to have dry conditions though. I mean, I know we're set up and to do the the wetter areas and, and that's what we do. But man, it is just so nice whenever you can get a place that you just you don't gotta fight that thing in there or drag the thing out there with the track machine and 
it's nice to get a break from your norm i guess is what i'm saying guys there you go nice and easy around it's a beautiful day today too and it was like 41 this morning i believe for a low of it's probably about 72 74 right now low humidity days just a beautiful 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 day all right mickey's gonna maybe slide her over a little bit yeah he's gonna try and push it over get a little more square to him got a bug on me i mean we are in the woods after all should have a bug every once in a while all right, so he's gonna get down. He's gonna fire it up, and we're gonna we're gonna deal him some wood. So we left Matt on the cutter up here. He's on the track cutter while we were uh, gone getting Michael's skitter. Our first move, we always move our cutter first. That way we can get him here and get things cut and, and rolling, get some going ahead, and then we also try. To bring Mickey's loader in the first round and then on the second round because usually Michael's left behind cleaning sets like over there he left was left to clean the, the set that we were in and dress the road up with the blade and all that other good mess so by the time we get back Michael's done with all that and then we get up here and he got he's got plenty to, to work with but you always want to bring your cutter first. Now, if we have a second low boy we can use at the time, we'll load Michael up with the box, my cutter, the track cutter, and Mickey all at the same time. And we'll, we'll bring everything in one trip and just start everything all together and then send trucks throughout the rest of the day as need be, moving the rest of the equipment into place for proper operation. Dude. He must need to tighten up his chain. He let his nose all the way down. Golly, look at that big old drag Michael's got. So one of the things you also really want to pay attention to what you're doing whenever you're working this kind of stuff is you really, man, it's a big drag of wood. You want to make sure you are getting your skitter operator to drive across his tops making it knock limbs off yeah that box of chains over there is nice and everything else run that over there you go but you want to make sure you run that skitter over that mess as much as you can help you're trying to help that box out as much as possible because those chains in there for a drum and a drum gets you a set and a half and a set meaning you get a top row of 13s and then you move your top row that you have on the machine to your bottom row uh, so that would be if you want to look at it that way you're actually getting three sets three changes but you take your top drum chains and move them to the bottom you either cut them to nines or eights or I prefer using tens on my bottom and uh, I think it's twelve or fifteen hundred dollars for a drum of chains. So you want to make sure you're getting as much help to this box. This box helps speed things up, but you want to make sure you help it as much as you can in the woods with the skitter as well. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. Mickey got his chain tightened up. Michael's went after his first drag down the down row here. The 
Hey, Mickey's gonna knock a few limbs off. He'll knock a few limbs off with that D-limber first and cut his top and then put it in the box. So like I said, you're trying to help. You want to use that box as much as possible, but you also want to help your box as much as possible too. Well, that's a wood shucking machine right there. End of the video, guys. Uh, wood fell off quite a bit, but this is basically load number four here for the day. Uh, let's see. We milled three. We didn't really get started till processing wood. According to my time stamps, is 102. Minky pulled the first bucket through, and then we had some issues with his chain coming off, stuff like that. And he uh, took a minute to really get good and rolling. I wouldn't say we didn't get started good and rolling until about two o'clock. And it's just been uh, and for a while. Minky and them was having to jump down and trim their own trucks because Matt was off with puppy, but. Anyway, we got, uh, like I said, about a load out, uh, a little extra late this evening, but it's just ensuring we got our, ourselves a good start for tomorrow. We got plenty cut, and like I said, you don't see what we got here. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's content. I know a little bit different format, but anyway, I'll make sure you go down below, find the description down below. There's a link for t-shirts on sale, $18 shipped to you for free. And uh, that's all I got, guys. So until the next video, y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, any questions you got, and we'll catch y'all on the next one.